In this video, I am going to show three incredible features of Google that will surprise you. The first feature is the grouping of tabs in Chrome. When using Chrome browser, we have the tendency to open many tabs in one window. Good news is we have the ability to group our tabs and we can even compress or minimize them so we can have more space for new tabs. For example, I have these tabs and I would like to put them in one group. To do that, I just simply right click the tab, then select Add Tab to New Group. We can type in the name of the group. Here, I'll enter social media. I can even change its color. I will right click this other tab, then add it to the group. I will do the same for the other tab. Notice that when I click the group tab, all the three tabs are hidden and we can bring it back when we click the group name again. I'll create another group called Google Classrooms. I will follow the same steps. Right click and select add to new group. For the other tabs, I will right click and select add tab to group, then choose Google Classrooms. The third group I'll create is called Slides. I will put these three tabs in this group. I'll right click the group name to edit and to look for other options. As we can see, we can add new tab in group. We can also ungroup, close group, and move the group, including the individual tabs, to a new window. Let's try moving the group to another window. As you can see, the group has been transferred to another window. The second feature is the URL shortcuts of Google Apps. For Google Docs, we can type in doc.new or docs.new to open a new document. Type in slide.new or slides.new to start creating a new presentation. Enter site.new or sites.new for Google Sites. Enter sheet.new or sheets.new for Google Sheets. Type in form.new or forms.new to start creating new forms. For Google Keeps, enter keep.new or note.new. Enter jam.new for new Jamboard. Let's use again the method for grouping of tabs. Right-click one of the open tabs, then select Add to a new group. I'll name this Google Apps. I will put all these tabs to this new group. The third feature is how to mention another user directly within Google Docs and Gmail message. For example, I will open a new document using the URL shortcut doc.new. Then I will change its title or file name. In this document, I can type in the at sign followed by the name or email address. On the right side of the document, this pop-up will appear. Here, I am notified that I can press the share button to share a copy of this document to the indicated email. When pressed, I can set the permission to either view, comment, or edit. I can even stop giving access to the user. For now, I will select edit and press the share button. Let's check if it was really shared by going to the share button at the upper right side of the screen. As we can see, it is now shared. We can also use the add sign followed by name or email address to automatically add it to the recipient's field of a Gmail message. Here is an example. Notice that I can mention another user by using the add sign. When selected, the email address will automatically be placed in the recipient's field. 
I hope you learned new amazing features of Google through this video. Please feel free to comment down below other surprising features of Google that you have used. Your comment will be greatly appreciated and will surely help all of us. If you think this video is useful, please like and share this to your friends. They might be in need of this information right now. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell to be updated when I upload a new video. Thank you for your support.